you might start scratching your head and say, honestly, truly, what is the difference? Hey, sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between indicators and integrators. Now this subject can be a little bit tricky and a little bit confusing, so please listen closely. So you've seen the dots on locks and peel packs, and you've seen the lines on tape and Bowie Dick tests, and of course the many sizes of cycle verification cards, um, the little cards that go in the containers that have a dot on them. There's a lot of different things that have these dots or even little shapes like a, a triangle or a blob. So what is the difference between all these visual colored shapes? Well, first let's talk about the stripes and the dots and the funky shapes that are showing up on different container cards, sterilization tape, container locks, things like that. All those different shapes that are on the peel packs and locks and all that stuff is called a type one indicator. Now type one indicators are meant specifically to be a visual cue and that is absolutely it. It is only for you to look at two trays and see that one is completely unsterile and one has gone through the sterilization process. That's all it tells you right up front. So that is a, a great way for an OR nurse who wants to come down and pick up a tray from your department. If they're familiar with the color in the dots and the different shapes, they can easily by visual cue know if that went through a sterilization process or not. Now, if you want to know if a certain tray underwent the proper parameters of a sterilization process, type one indicators do not work that way. Type one indicators are not enough to validate if a tray has met parameters. Now type two is a specific use indicator, which is all about Bowie Dicks. And I've already done a video about dart tests and Bowie Dicks, so go check that out if you're interested. So I'm gonna skip that one here. Now that brings us to type three and type four indicators. Now type three indicators are not very popular in the market. Type three indicators basically provide one cycle parameter verification. So it might tell you that it either reached the proper temperature or it might say that it reached the proper time. It's only gonna give you one. Type four on the other hand will give you multiple variables like time and temperature. So you're not gonna find many type three in the market if you Google it. Even if you look at this diagram from 3M, they don't even sell a product in the type three class. Now here's an example of a type four indicator, which is from 3M called Sterifirm Control Tubes. It validates the process of time and temperature. So it only covers two of the parameters. It doesn't qualify to be a type five or a type six. Now let's move on to our final category, which is our type five and our type six. These are different from other indicators because these are actually either integrating indicators or emulating indicators. As you read about type five and type six indicators from companies, you might start scratching your head and say, honestly, truly, what is the difference? Well, there is actually one single difference. They both measure all the critical variables of a sterilization process. However, a class five actually measures beyond that. That's why the 3M Stary Gauge actually has a moving line that measures the length of the contact time and temperature and moisture. So a type six emulating indicator actually shows you that all of the parameters have been met under the specific time component, but that's all it shows is that you met it. It doesn't measure beyond that like a Stary Gauge does, type five. Type five, if you notice in the Stary Gauge, the line only has to be roughly halfway to pass. So all that extra line is just extra credit. It's measuring how much beyond the passing has occurred. And that is why type five indicators are the best. Yes, that's right, type five. The list appears to be numbered in sequential order of like lowest quality to highest quality. And it does appear that way between one and five. But when it comes to five and six, those are just two different categories and it doesn't ne necessarily say that one outweighs the other. But it is true that class 
five or type five, however you want to call that, is better. So I would ask you, if your department is not using type fives or type six of indicators, then how are you staying in compliance with Amy? Type five and type six indicators are the only indicators that are authorized to release standard routine non-implant sterilization loads. Now there is an exception in the AMI guidelines that talks about a type five and a type six being able to release an implant load only in emergencies as a verification process, but you still have to use a biological and still verify the results have been read out. But please listen to me. If you ever release an implant under a type five or type six indicator, Make sure you use a biological and document, document, document. I would include the verbiage from page 76 of Amy that talks about the type five and type six being a uh, emergent release of an implant in the meantime of a biological um, working its time frame to get its results. But also make sure you come back and record those biological results as well. So you have your verbiage from Amy, you have your dedicated actual emergent um, issue and then you have the results of the biological all in a full circle that makes that a compliant load i hope that made that clear it is not a routine process for type 5 and type 6 to release implant loads they can only do that temporarily until the biological is read out in an absolute emergent uh, procedure. I know that was a lot of information about the different types of indicators, but I hope it was valuable to you and information that you can bring back to your department. I want to thank you guys for watching. Any topics or videos you want to see, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.